and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing with you um, ways to avoid waste with food. So focusing on storing food and preparing food and um, reusing it when you can. So obviously everyone's got slightly different budgets and priorities and things available to them. So for example, you may or may not have a compost heap and so that will reduce your options of what to do with some kinds of waste. But um, pick whatever ideas appeal to you, any ideas that don't or you aren't able to do, then just let those go and maybe you'll come back to them one day. So I wanted to think about, first of all, storing food. So uh, a really good idea is to reuse old jars. So whenever I finish a jar of anything, I run it through my dishwasher or you can sterilise it with boiling water and then I keep them in a drawer ready to store food in. Um, they make really good containers for dried goods if you try shopping at zero waste shops. Not so easy while we're in lockdown, but beyond lockdown they could be useful, so you could save them for that. And also to stop waste where you know you've got the open packet in the cupboard and it spills everywhere. So when you open a packet of something such as rice, see if you can pour it into a jar, it's then airtight, it's going to keep nice and um clean and store nicely for a long time. Make sure you label it and then you will be able to keep it in your jar for a very long time. The other thing that jars are really good for is storing food in that um, perhaps would otherwise not cope well in the fridge. So for example you can take a large jar, put a centimetre or two of fresh water in the bottom and then put fresh herbs in and then put the lid on and that will keep them in there for much longer than if you were just to leave them in the fridge in their packaging. Um, it's a really good tip. You can buy special herb storage things but using a jar that you've already got is a brilliant idea. The other thing with herbs, just veering off from jars for a moment, is that you can chop soft herbs such as parsley, basil, coriander, those kinds of herbs, chop them finely and then freeze them. I often put them in old ice cream tubs um, and pop them in the freezer with a label on of what they are and then when you're cooking you can just tip the fresh herb into whatever you're cooking and then pop the container back into the freezer and that way you'll use all of the herb and you won't waste any of it. Anyway, back to jars. The other thing that they're really good for is freezing. So um, I have only had one casualty using jars because when I first heard about storing food in jars I thought that was completely insane because I assumed they'd explode in the freezer. So there's a few things that you can do to make sure that doesn't happen. One is um, do not put the jar in the freezer until the food inside it is completely cold. Secondly, don't fill the jar more than two thirds full so that there's a lot of space um, for it to expand. And the last thing is to not put the jar lid on tightly until it's already frozen. So I sit the jar lid slightly off kilter, freeze it and then go back a few hours later and tighten the lid of the jar. Um, and that works really well. So if you cook beans from scratch and you've got too many, you can freeze them in the, in the liquid in there. You can freeze things like um, soup and things like that in the jar really easily. And that way also you're not having the food in contact with glass. Um, I mean with plastic, only with glass, if that's something that is of concern to you. Right, so moving on from jars. Um, other things to do with the fruit and veg scraps. So the first thing you could do is um, get a container, like an old Tupperware box, or it could be a jar, um, and just put all your vegetable scraps into this jar and keep it in the freezer. When the container or the bag is full, you could use an old plastic bag, when the bag or the container is full, tip the container into a saucepan to make vegetable stock. And then whenever a savoury recipe calls for water, generally, like soups and things like that, you can use your beautiful homemade stock and it's really tasty and you're getting every last bit of goodness out of, those, um, out of that food that you spent your money on. If you find you've got an excess of food, a really good option if you have the space in your freezer is to freeze it. So I'll just run through a few things that freeze particularly well that you might not be aware of. So I've already mentioned herbs, they're really good. Lots of vegetables and fruit are very good for freezing, but a lot of people know about that. But things that people don't often think about that can be frozen, the first is eggs are really good to be frozen, but you must crack them out of their shell. 
So you take a silicone muffin um, liner, you know the little muffin cup things, um, and crack them into those, and then put that in the freezer to freeze them. When they're frozen, you can then ping them out and keep them in a bag or a jar or a box. And you're, when you want to defrost an egg, you just take out this egg ice cube to use later. So it's a really good way of keeping eggs for a little bit longer and they make excellent omelettes and frittatas and that sort of thing once they've been defrosted. So other things that do well in the freezer are ginger and chilies. So often when you buy a packet of chilies, you have too many in the packet for what you need and then they end up going all wrinkly and horrible in the fridge. So what I do now is I put the bag straight into the freezer, I don't even bother keeping it fresh anymore. And then if you've got a very fine grater, you can grate them over. If you wanted them chopped, they defrost really fast. So by the time you cut them up and laid them on your chopping board, they're practically defrosted. So they're, it's a really good way of having fresh chilies and then not having to waste any of the chili. Um, ginger is similar. I keep the root in the freezer. And if you've got a very fine grater, you can just grate it. I don't even take the skin off, I just grate the whole thing. And then when I've got enough, I can put it back in the freezer. I keep it covered and I reuse an old plastic bag for that. But it's a really good way of making sure you don't waste any of that ginger. So freezing is brilliant. Um, the other thing that if you have a little bit more space in your freezer that's really good um, is to freeze any leftover food that you make. So for example, if I make a soup, I would always make more than we need and then freeze a portion or two that I can then have late, at a later date. So that I have, especially if I'm making a soup where I'm using up all the vegetables out of the fridge, I don't really worry about how much soup we need, just cook the lot and then freeze what I don't use. Um, and it's really good in that sense that you can bulk cook, especially if you're on your own and you're finding that your fresh stuff is just running out faster than you can um, eat it. If you have a compost heap, that's amazing. You can put all your fruit and vegetable scraps on it. Never put cooked meat, fish, cheese, eggs, oil, anything like that, because that um, attracts rodents. But otherwise, it's brilliant. You can put uh, coffee grounds, tea grounds. You can, if you swept the floor, you can put dust in there and you can put the hair on your hairbrush. You know, those little scraps of hair, you can put those in your compost too. Not really about food, but very useful. Um, and if you have coffee grounds, they're really good as a slug repellent. So you can put them around your plants to help stop the slugs eating them, baby plants. If you do have excess food that's packaged um, or tins and things like that, um, you might be able to contact a local food bank and see if they have a way of you to drop them off, keeping to social distancing rules and drop them safely off. So that's another option if you have excess food that you'd like to share with other people, but you would have to check with your own local area about what would work. So I hope these ideas are helpful to you. Um, and there's loads of resources on the internet about freezing food if that was something that sparked an interest. But if you have any other ideas to help reduce the waste of food, do let me know in the comments down below. See you again soon. Bye bye.